Welcome to this short overview video on libraries for processing geospatial data with Python. You can find the materials for that overview here on hydroinformatics.com in the geospatial analysis section. If you click down here, here on the geospatial Python menu, then you will find here the entry geospatial open source Python libraries. Please note that in the whole um, ebook framework here, I'm making reference sometimes to the uh, license requiring commercial ArcPy library, but you will never need it. I just mention it here for um, the uh, sake of completeness. Well, now much more important for processing geospatial data with Python is the GDAL library. If you're working on Linux or Windows, there are different ways to install it, to um, get instructions. I invite you to have a look here at the instructions for installing Fluss tools with uh, pip environments on Linux or um, you know, within Conda environments on Windows. To import GDAL in Python, you would then typically write from OSGeo import GDAL or OSR or OGR. In former versions of Python and GDAL, you would just write import GDAL, but that is deprecated and will most likely cause an error. So always import GDAL, OSR and OGR from OSGeo. So the GDAL library is the baseline that you can even not avoid for um, working with uh, raster data or shapefile data in Python. One other library here is the GeoJSON um, library that is appropriate for processing GeoJSON data files. Um, here is a link just on the description of the GeoJSON data file. Um, that I explain a little bit more in the tutorial on geospatial data. A neat little tool is Descartes Labs that provides you many options for geospatial analysis. I invite you to just have here a look at their website and their geo uh, visual search tool to uh, explore their applications of artificial intelligence to identify objects on maps. To install it, you can use pip install Descartes Lab on uh, Linux or in con environments. You just copy that command here. If you want to process imagery on in Python, um, you probably want to work with the Pillow library, which um, is also already installed if you are, have installed FlussTools. For working with uh, shape files, I also recommend installing Shapely, which is also already implemented in, or installed with the installation of FlussTools. Another option here for working with shape files is the PyShape package and this is also already installed with Flusstools. So if you're installing Flusstools, you have many of these um, useful libraries already installed in your environment. Here's an overview of other packages that you may want to install or use. The ones here in a red font are all um, installed along with Flusstools as its requirements. So these involve alpha shape for building bounding polygons of a set of points. Then there's the GeoPandas lander library that is a particular application of pandas data frames just with geospatial references. There's raster IO here for analyzing raster data as numpy arrays. So it makes use of this super efficient um, computation routines from numpy. There's the raster stats package for zonal statistics and that can also interact with GeoJSON files. And then one of the most powerful um, packages here that I didn't 
lay out too much here in detail, what a shame, is the Scikit image library. If you want to work with um, a databases, use special databases to call data maybe through the internet, um, you may want to check out here the post uh, SQL library for SQL database connections. There are other things like the network X uh, library for finding these cost paths, um, so something that you would use maybe for navigation purposes and so on. Well, have fun with exploring these open source Python libraries that you can um, all use along with your code and provide you with many options. Thanks for watching this video.